Hi, Fabrice here for another quick uh, tutorial. We are uh, following on from last week's how to render a still image. So how to render a huge high res image in Unreal today. So yes, you can. Um, there's a few prerequisites. I, it's going to be a little bit advanced. So if you're completely starting out, there's, uh, I'm not going to go through everything like the sequence, what the sequencer is and um, uh, things like that. So uh, what you need in order to get started with this is you need to have set up your camera. And so here, I have set up a, a Cine camera actor and there's a little bit of a depth, depth of field, some default depth of field in there. There is also a new level sequence. So uh, if you uh, haven't created one of these before, you need to go to cinematics and add level sequence. Okay, so now I'll uh, double click. Uh, well, actually I've got it open here. So level sequence in here and uh, we're ready to go. So if you want to render this as a high res, I'll just quickly show you what the problem was last time. If we do a high res screenshot, for example, and that I'll do uh, it at say, let's just say two for safety because it does crash sometimes. And here we have a uh, high res screenshot number 14. I've got it on the other screen, so coming up. Okay, and here, even though we're at 50%, if I go on 100%, here we have some stepping issues, all right? Here we're at full res, 100%, and then we've got these little steps. And that is due to anti-aliasing problems, uh, which we are going to fix today. How's that? Okay, so here we have our sequencer and we will go over to a window, Cinematics, Movie Render Queue, the new Movie Render Queue, which is pretty awesome. So here we click the green button, add our level sequence. So that's exactly what we're going to be dealing with. And you want to uh, open the uh, unsaved config sort of settings here, which you can obviously save as a preset, preset if you like. And um, we are going to uh, create a 4K render. Uh, so let me just calculate the exact figure: three eight four zero by two one six two one six zero. Okay. So that's the dimension of our high res render. We'll use a custom playback range because we don't want to uh, render the entire movie. So let's use 10 and 11. In fact, we don't want to render the entire movie. We just want to render just the one image. And this is the crucial bit, anti-aliasing. So we'll go to settings, anti-aliasing. And here, uh, I'll cut to the chase. What we need is to override anti-aliasing. And uh, we have a warning here that we need at least eight samples. So let's put 16. And we are good to go. So now I'll reduce this window. Render local. I'll bring the preview which is on my other screen. So you see it's rendering 16 images on top of each other. And now here's the result. Okay, so I am at, so let me open that in Photoshop. And so here I'm on 33%, 50, 67, 100, no stepping. Okay, perfectly clean lines. And I guess this is due to the shadow of the tree, maybe something like that, or maybe an error. But apart from that, the um, edges are perfectly, perfectly clean. And uh, yeah, this is how you can render a high res uh, image without anti aliasing issues in Unreal Engine. And you see, it took a couple of seconds with the um, depth of field still in here. So 
very 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 cool okay i hope uh, that was useful and i will see you next time